federal government is considering a bold proposal that would see an alu alumina refinery in the Northern Territory converted into a strategic fuel storage facility. The plan would see tanks at Rio Tinto's Gove refinery converted to store up to 160 megalitres of fuel as the government seeks to shore up local supply chains in Australia's north. Matt Cunningham filed this exclusive report. It's a little piece of paradise on the edge of northeast Arnhem Land. And right now, the town of Nullumboy on the Gove Peninsula is buzzing. The town is absolutely booming. We've got you know, huge population growth, which is fantastic. Everyone seems to be busy. Can't get a plumber, can't get an electrician. Since the 1960s, Nullumboy has been a mining town, housing thousands of workers from the bauxite mine and refinery now owned by Rio Tinto. But the mine will close within a decade, prompting fears for the future of the town, which also acts as a service hub for the 14,000 people who live in surrounding Aboriginal communities. My concern is that the, um, it might stop, and uh, not a slow, gradual slowdown, but a, a complete stop or a very sharp pull-up. Nullumboy residents are no strangers to the boom and bust cycles that exist in mining towns. Between 2003 and 2007, there was a $4 billion expansion of the Gove operation, but the boom was short-lived. For more than three decades, the bauxite that was mined here on the Gove Peninsula was processed at this refinery. But in 2013, there was a standoff between the Northern Territory Government and Rio Tinto. Rio wanted the government to pipe gas to Gove to bring down its production costs. And when the government failed to deliver, Rio shut the refinery down. There were fears mothballing the refinery would spell the end for Nullumboy, but some locals say reports of its impending death were greatly exaggerated. We've already seen a significant shift in the demographics of the town since curtailment and a, a, a bit of a balancing out of Rio Tinto versus non-Rio Tinto workers and we're hoping that that will continue. Rio will start pulling down its refinery next year and its mining operations will cease within a decade. But as Nullumboy prepares for life after the mine, Sky News can reveal details of a bold new plan. The federal government is considering a proposal that would see part of the refinery converted into a strategic fuel storage facility. And we're all working very hard to uh, to work with the, um, if you like, the closure plan so that we get, um, and I'm going to have to be frank, to get the maximum out of it. The plan has been put forward by Darwin's Airport Development Group and Gullaroy Unipingu's Gumach Aboriginal Corporation, which is working with Rio on the refinery's demolition. It would see existing tanks converted, enabling the storage of up to 160 megalitres of fuel. Because once it's gone, it's gone. So we want to try to um, get as much of the infrastructure that we think is beneficial to the region. With beautiful beaches like this one, it's rich indigenous culture and some of the best fishing in the country, there's now hope that the Gove Peninsula can become a serious tourist destination. There's absolutely uh, a desire for people to come here and once we um, you know, get more um, product online and we're working with a range of traditional owners about different homelands immersion experiences and culture tours on their country, um, I think that we'll see real growth in that area. The question is whether all of this will be enough to ensure the town's survival. As you know, Nolan Boys uh, was always a mining town. It, had a, it has a lot of uh, potential, but you've got to find industry for that potential. Yes, I think it'll survive, but uh, it, it, people have just got to understand that it's going to be a little bit different. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Nolan Boy.